Hello there. So today we're looking at using Google Slides, which is a really powerful collaborative slide deck application. It's online, so you don't have to carry a, a slide deck that you produce with you around on a flash drive or anything like that. It's collaborative, which means that your students or your fellow teachers can collaborate and share the slide deck, uh, do edits, create more material if that's what you want. And um, it's interactive. You can insert audio, videos, images, all sorts of things that will make your students want to interact with your slide deck. So let's jump in and have a look at how we produce one. So first of all, you're going to create a new slide deck. And to do that, go to the browser bar at the top and just type in slide.new. Now, because I've created slide decks before, you can see that it opens up. Um, it will go to slide.new almost immediately once I started typing the word slide. And this is the quickest and most efficient way of producing a new slide deck. I'm going to title the uh, slide deck presentation. So click on the top bar here and give it a name. Now I've got a choice. I can star the uh, slide deck so that I can easily find it in my start folder in my drive. And I can also move it to a chosen folder if I want to. So the first thing I want to do is I want to give this, um, I've given it a title and I could choose to enter something in the text box here. So today we're looking at our favorite days and seasons. So I'm going to give it just that as a title. And um, I'm going to give it a subtitle as well. And I'm going to put in a couple of more slides. So if I look to the left hand side, there's a plus button here, and that's to insert any new slide. You've got a selection of slides here. Um, I'm going to be inserting a text and body, a title and body slide. Now, I'm going to put in something to do with seasons. and I'm going to put in some images. So to look for images, I'm going to tap on the Explore button on the bottom right-hand side. But remember now, because we're online, I've actually got the whole interweb to access. So I want to find images to do with seasons. Now, any image that I find that Google finds for me using the explore bar is actually free from copyright. So you're more than welcome to use them. And I found a really nice one here to introduce my topic. So all I have to do is press on the plus bar and it will add the image for me. Now, you've got two ways of moving the image. You can use the grab handles to the side here to make the image smaller. And if you click onto the image, you can move it with your mouse. Or with my preference, I use the cursor keys to move it left and right. Now, what you might want to do, you can remove the link to the image as well, and that becomes a static one or you can keep the link there if you want to refer back to it. So I've got my image and I want to ask my students a question. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask them, what are the names of the different seasons? And because the text box is too big, I'm going to resize that text box. Just bring it over to the side. And the, uh, the font is a little bit difficult to read, so I'm going to increase the size of this. Um, if you're using a overhead 
display, for example, you might want to increase it to about 30 font size. Now what I can do, because I'm going to share this slide deck, I can actually put this in as well. So the students can add uh, to my slide deck. Now I'm so pleased with this uh, slide deck, I'm going to press Control D and I'm going to duplicate it. And then what I want to do is I want to input some language now. So they're going to learn about the names of those different seasons. What I'm going to do is go to Insert. I'm going to go to Video. And I'm going to ask Google to search for a video on YouTube. So names of seasons, maybe a song. Why not? Let's see what we come up with. Now, at the moment, most of these all come up with fall, except for this one here, which is called autumn. So I'm going to use that one. And there you go, ready to be inserted into my next slide. So I'm going to remove this image. So I just click on it, press on backspace or delete to, to remove it. And then I'm going to click on the video and I'm going to move it across. Now, if I get the crosshairs, I can move it across. And I've got some guidelines which tells me where it is center to the page or to the side of the slide. I can also resize the video if I choose to do so. Now, because I've got the format options bar on the right hand side open, I can play the video to see if it's suitable. I can also change the start time and uh, the finish time so it only plays a short clip of the video if that's what I want. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask the learners to name their favorite season. And I'm going to give them a little quiz to do. So this is a Google Form quiz, which I created earlier, and we're going to have a look at that in just a moment. So this is the quiz that I created, which the students can now go and fill in. And I've asked for their full name, the name of their favorite day, and their favorite season. And not only can I insert images and videos, I can also add in hyperlinks. In this case, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the link from the presentation. I'm going to grab the link from the uh, form. And I'm going to put it into my slide. So I'm going to highlight the text that I want to add the link to. I'm going to press Control K and then Control V. Now, if I check the top of the um, dialog box, it says fill in the quiz and it gives me the link. Now, when the students press on fill in the quiz, they will see a form that I produced earlier for them to complete. Now I can see their responses as well because my Google form is connected to a Google Sheet. And in this case, I can see their favorite season, which is a chart that I produced. Now what I want to do is I want to add this chart to my slides. So I've added a blank slide to my slide presentation and I'm going to show the results of my questionnaire to my learners. All I've got to do now is go to insert, chart, and I can either design my own chart or I can grab it from a sheet which was connected to my Google form. It opens up the spreadsheets and this was the tell me your favorite season that I produced. And I'm going to select the chart that I have produced. Now, 
What's important is that it's linked to the spreadsheet. So when the, any new results come through, I can easily update my chart on my slide deck. So I'm going to click on import. It's giving it a few moments. And there it is. Now, what I'm going to do now is to animate my slides. And all I have to do is click on animate at the top. And it gives me a variety of choices with slide transition. So if I click on that, um, I can choose from dissolve, fade, slide from left or right, or cube, or I can make it into a gallery. I can also, and then I will click and apply that to all my slides. I can also select an object and animate that as well. So I can choose to fade in on click and I can play the animation just to see what it looks like. So once I'm happy with that, I can carry on with the next thing, which is I'm going to share this with other people to collaborate. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on the share button at the top right hand side. And once the dialog box is open, I'm going to tap in their email address. Now, this is possible to do if you have, uh, if you're typing email addresses for other teachers within your domain. So, for example, if I type in G Germani, her name comes up and I can choose it. Uh, with students, you might have to type in the entire uh, name for the beginning. And then after that, once you have their email address in your contact book, you won't have to type in the full name. I can make them an editor or I can choose for them to view or to comment on what I have just produced. Once I've clicked on send, it will be done. When I'm presenting, all I have to do is click on the present button the top right hand side and I can also turn on captions now this is if I have a microphone or I have a Chromebook ready to hand and as you can see as I present the closed caption comes into play and my slides are more accessible so that's uh, a basic introduction to Google Slide Deck. And uh, any questions, just give me a call, all right, or email me uh, t.doncaster at wlc.ac.uk. I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye bye.